Hi, it's Amy again. Um, I'm getting my leopard print all over my head. First we're going to shave it down to a two, and then we're going to do the print. Alright, are you ready? Yep. That ain't taking it well enough. It's barely touching it. So you want to try one and a half? Yeah, let's do a one and a half. Oh god, that's short. Not as short as you think. Ready? I'm glad you're away from that guy. Me too. Yeah, because you, you shouldn't. You're too young to have scars on your head. Look up a little bit. But you're still beautiful, my dear. Okay, feel your top. Not as low as you thought, is it? No, not at all. Go sit down and watch cartoons, please. No. That's your biggest reason for doing all this, ain't it? Mm-hmm. It's the reason I do everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love when I 
I step on the cords, it feels so good. I can feel from the fact that I use my leg instead of my arm. After this, I'm gonna have to change your. How? I said after you get done shaving, I'm gonna have to change your diaper. That's definitely. Yeah. down please. No. I will get you some in a second. No. Mommy. Charlie chop. Get her. I'm gonna Charlie chop you if you don't go sit down. Charlie chop her mama. I'm gonna Charlie chop you. Visual. Go sit down. Why? Oh, don't cry. You fake crying. Yeah. Yes, you is. You faked her. Yeah. Faked her, faked her, undertaked her. Oh. You did that? Charlie chop you. Charlie chop her to the net. To the net. Hmm. Okay. Dirty hair. Yep, dirty hair. Watch out, cause you're getting hair all over you. Dirty hair. Are you done shaving? Uh, Back up a little bit. Hoodie! Hoodie! Rat! I know, we gotta change you. Rat! What do you gotta shave now? I know. Just right back it's, it's hard to do. She's getting into a tent. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Sophie. You're getting hair all over your bottle. Cookie. And, and, Ami, and, Ami, and, and, Ami, and, Ami, and, Ami, and, Ami, and. Sorry, you really can't see this, folks. But as you can see, it's, it would be kind of hard to turn the chair right now. Okay.
Stop. Put it down. Put this back. Put it down. Thank you. Put it down. Go put it back. Right now. Go. Thank you. Hi, go watch the princesses. Recording. Alrighty then. You see it down this way. Okay, if you ever look at National Geographic, you'll notice that no leopard spots, no two are exactly alike, and no two leopards have the same spots. So we're doing them very irregular on your head. They look good though. Yeah, so you can blend into the wild. Hmm. And you know you mentioned the heart a minute ago. Yeah. That's what's coming right now, is the heart. Did I, was I leaning on your head too hard? No. I'm surprised I was able to get all that hair off my shirt. You didn't get it all off. Well, most of it. At least it's not on me like I'm, I got a rash. Mm -hmm. We're using purple because that's Amy's favorite color. And it's not going to last forever, so... It won't matter a whole lot. using a paintbrush because you got more control with this than you do a tent brush. We took a number one, a number one guard and raised a blade up halfway because the number two just didn't take her low enough to let these show up like they should. Her hair would have swallowed it up in a matter of a few days. Tent brush is kind of wide, a little on the fat side. I'm sure they make others now that I haven't seen. I haven't been to a supply store in a while. I've been in and out of the hospitals. Instead, 
As Miss Amy can tell you, I've had a lot of fun these last few weeks. She'd call that fun. But I've been doing hair for so long, I just ain't going to quit. I feel that God gave me my talent, and it's a waste not to pass it on. And I plan to teach Amy as much as I can because she has expressed an interest into doing hair. It's a very lucrative business. You can make a lot of money at it if you know what you're doing. And if we can get enough people up here for Amy to learn on, she'll know what she's doing. Even before she starts school. She's in school now, so it's going to be a while before she could go to cosmetology. <coughs> What's your most fun subject? Mm, this would have to be geometry. Geometry. Yeah, shapes. Well, that's good. That's a good thing, actually, because... Uh, when you're doing hair, geometric shapes plays a big, a big role. Yeah. As uh, well, like my curve combs. It's the. Uh, it's a it's a really neat and different way to do a geo bob. Which a lot of people call a swing line, swing, swing forward, a line. The term geo was, I think first used by Vizal Sassoon because of the geometric shape went along with his five point cutting technique which you would learn about if you learn the, the Sassoon technique and which is a really cool way to learn to cut but since I didn't learn from Vizal Sassoon I pretty much taught myself I started when I was 14 and I had several clients before I even went to school to get a license. Alrighty, your spots are done. Uh, if you can see out of this and Sophie has, has had her fingers all over it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you see your heart? Can you find it? Where's Waldo? Right here. Nope. Isn't it? Nope. That's not the heart. Where's Waldo? Was it on the back of my head? No, it's up here. Oh. You might not be able to see it. There, I'm going to cheat just a little. It's right there. Yeah, I'm not going to see that. Okay, you'll have to go in the bathroom and look in the other mirror. Alrighty, we're done, folks. Thanks Bye. for watching.